Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duvis Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the new adventure log that released with the most recent patch to Black Desert, the Lamut Gang's Adventure Journal. This is a video that was requested during my live stream this past weekend. Apparently people want me to show them how to run through this, so that is what I'm going to do. If you've never run an adventure log or an adventure journal before, they're basically little series of mini quests that add to the lore of Black Desert and help to explain the world to you and give you some cool rewards along the way. So, real quick before we get into the video and show you the different rewards you're going to get, show you all the cool stuff and how to do it most importantly, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me and would help to grow the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's take a look at what we're going to need to do for this journal. So, the actual journal takes place down in the new area of Grandia down here below Grana, right? But before you even go down there, you're going to need to do some gathering before you even start this to save yourself a ton of time. And the first thing you're going to want to do is gather some milk over in Olvia. So the milk farm is located right here. This is Whale Farm above Olvia, and it is to the left. It's this little tree icon. You're going to want to come to this place. So once again, Olvia, it's north of Calfion, and it is west of Velia, Olvia. You want to go to this tree icon right here, and you're going to want to milk some cows. So to milk a cow, you literally just walk up to the cow, press R, and then it's a mini game of left click, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click, left, right, and that's it. So once you've done that once, you're going to be good to go. The reason we're doing this milk is because we need it for turn-ins throughout the adventure log, so you want to make sure to have it before you get down there, so you don't have to come all the way back up here. The next thing you're going to need to get is going to be a knock ingot. So you can just go to the central market and type in knock ingot. There are thousands of these in stock. I doubt 47,000 people are going to watch my video, so you can just go up straight ahead and buy one of these, and we'll pick it up at the next city we get to on our way out. So just go ahead and buy it. It's literally it. So buy a knock ingot off of the central marketplace. In addition to this, you're also going to need honey wine. So the honey wine is also stupid amounts in stock, 166,000. So don't complain to me if I destroy the market, because that would mean that 150,000 people watch this video. Anyway, so you're going to need to buy one of those as well. So pick up one of the honey wines. And after that, we are set and we are ready to head on down to Grandia. So to get down to Grandia, navigate down to the bottom left of your map. If you've never been here, it is just south and west of Grana. So I will meet you over here. So on my way down to Grana, I have just stopped in Calfion as a reminder to tell you that you need to get the knock ore out of here that you just purchased, as well as the honey wine. So do not forget to stop at a central marketplace on your way down to Grana to pick these up. Otherwise, you'll be sad when you get there and don't have the stuff in your inventory. But anyway, back on down to the new so location of Grandia down here. So when you arrive in Grandia, you are going to want to head down to this little pavilion down here. So here's the Lemurine Bridge into Grandia, down to this pavilion right here. When you get here, you're going to see a guy named Ben's Carter. Just stand in front of him for one second here while you talk to your Black Spirit by pressing the comma key on your keyboard, going to the Quest tab, under the Suggestion tab, scrolling down the list until you see the Papu Krinia, an amazing gift just for you. Go ahead and talk to him, accept that quest, and it will start the quest. Then all you got to do is exit, go back, and talk to him again by right-clicking it on the quest log that will pop to the side, or you can just talk to him again and it will start the quest. Either way you want to do it will begin the chain. So if you press the escape key, go to the adventure tab, then click on the adventure log bookshelf, you will now have access to the Lamut Gang's adventure journal. You do need to be level 58 to start this adventure log, adventure journal, whatever you want to call it, you need to be level 58. So don't try doing this before level 58. Anyway, when you click on this now, you will see all five of the books and you can actually click on book one. Book one's first goal is to become friends with Ben's Carter and Grandia. So here's Ben's Carter, the guy that we were just saying we we're going to go ahead and talk to. Talk to him, click on chat, and hand over one of the fresh milks that we got from him. Doing this will complete the task of becoming friends with Ben's Carter. So all you had to do was give him a milk. So once again, to get back to this menu, press the escape key, adventure log bookshelf, click on the book, and you will have completed the goal. So just click on it to complete it. Then we can go to the next page. Also, don't forget to use the bookmark feature to help yourself a little bit. Next thing is we need to become friends with Ben's Euron. So, guess what? Ben's Euron, right over here, literally across the way from him. Go ahead and talk to Ben's Euron, click on chat, give him the knock ingot. Just like we said to buy it earlier, you now have the knock ingot. If you press the escape key, adventure log bookshelf, go to book number one, complete task number two. Take off your bookmark, go to the next page, bookmark it, become friends with Ben's Chasey. I'm going to give you one guess as to what we're going to give him. So here's Ben's Chasey, right over here, talk to him, chat, give him the honey wine, her, I guess. And that will complete the task. If you press the escape key, adventure log bookshelf, book one, complete. Take off your bookmark, go to the next page, bookmark on. So the next task is to enter the Lamut's secret code into chat. All you got to do is hit enter to open up the general chat and type in 999 and hit enter. 
which will complete the next portion. Press the escape key, adventure log bookshelf, first book, complete, bookmark off, next page, bookmark on. Now we need to open up Lamut's secret book. So Lamut's secret book is actually a little bit more complex than these. So we're looking at the water from this last person we just talked to. See this little tower right here? Walk into the tower, go to the far side of the tower after passing this fountain, walk all the way out into the pavilion over here, walk across, jump up, and you'll see the bookshelf over here. I guess not really a bookshelf, but a pile of books. Click on that, chat, childish novels, and unlock with four Lamut codes. Spam through that, and you have completed that portion of the book. So press the escape key, adventure log bookshelf, book one, complete, and that is it. You've completed book one of the adventure log. Talk to the black spirit. This is going to give you a quest called Papukrinia Lamut Gang. Also, for some reason, you didn't accept the quest. Go ahead and talk to the black spirit again. Under the quest tabs, under the suggested tab, you will see the Papukrinia Lamut Gang in progress. So this is going to take you back to the Ben's dude that we were just talking to earlier. And if we just go ahead and path to it, it is this original person right over here. So go ahead and talk to Ben's Ruben. If you talk to them, hit continue, confirm, mash through it. You're going to get some gold coins, quest, and accept both of the offerings from this dude right here. So accept number one and number two. So for completing those two quests, you are going to get in your inventory an Etheria Cog license. The Fury Cog is one of the fastest ships in the game, and you are going to need it for the next portions of the quest line. So immediately going from Ben's Ruben, hop over this wall, run out to the edge, and you will see the Wharf Manager as well as the Guild Ward Map Manager. Talk to both of them just to get the knowledge of it, because knowledge is good in Black Desert. And then talk to the Wharf Manager once again. Go to Wharf, register ship, down in the bottom left corner below my webcam, click on the license, enter a name, whatever you want to call it. I name all of mine after cities in Black Desert, so this is going to be the Grana. Confirm, and hit yes. Click on that boat, take it out. Your boat should be sitting right over here to the right. Jump into it. And pro tip from sailors, if you actually left click on the boat icon in the top left of your screen underneath your HP bars, it will teleport you to the driver's wheel of the boat. So from here, we need to sail this boat up into the north towards Papukrinia. So do you see the second little island here before we get to Papukrinia? You're gonna need to stop at this spot that you see on the island right here. So if you don't have these areas of the map unlocked already, you will see little faint shadows of islands out there. Just know that the island you're looking for is across from the Forest Renaros area map icon. So you can see the icon. We're heading in this general direction. So if you've never been over this way, put a waypoint that way and head on over. I'll meet you over at that island. Some more pro boat tips, just in case your boat ever gets stuck. If you swim a little bit away from it and then right click that icon in the top corner, it will bring your boat to you. So you can pull it off of any rocks that you might get stuck on while you're out here doing this quest line. Anyway, I'll meet you over at the island. When you arrive at the marked location on the map, there will be a thing that says peace sign, interact with it to complete the quest. From here, your black spirit's gonna pop up again, mash continue and spec on through that. And you should be good to go just to press escape from that once again. We're still continuing along with the Papukrinia quest line, and if you press the M key on the keyboard, you will now see a new landing spot that we need to hit up over here at the tip of Papukrinia. So I will meet you over here. So when you arrived at this marked location, you're gonna see the Lamut gang at Ben's Lamet over here. Go ahead and talk to her, talk to her quest continue along just keep mashing r through all of this and it will start the papukrinia start of the 100 billion silver blah 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 blah. this is going to path you down to the npc at the bottom of the island over here so make your way down to that person when you get down here talk to the wharf manager click on quest talk to the other's friend blah blah blah, blah. it's going to send you over to this npc right over here go ahead and talk to them so in your inventory you will have an otter scroll right here just go ahead and click on that click yes otter is going to pop up next to you go ahead and talk to that otter and it will turn you into an otter. To complete the quest, go ahead and talk to the person that we were just looking at here, talk to them, and that will complete the quest. After you're done with that, you can just press Shift R to get out of the otter form, and that will open up the next adventure log book, book four. We're actually gonna go ahead and unlock book number two though right now by going up to the wharf manager of Papurabra Island, which is the second portion of this quest, who's located to the north of the island. So go ahead and head on up to the north of the island. And this is gonna be a case of SSDD, talk to him. He's gonna send you over to their buddy. We're gonna go talk to them. Talk to the buddy. Buddy's gonna give you a scroll. If you go to your inventory, click on the scroll. The scroll will spawn a Pani Pani villager. Go ahead and talk to the Pani Pani villager. You will turn into a Pani Pani person. Using the Pani Pani person, talk to this dude. Talk to them again. Complete the quest. And that will open up the next adventure log book. So we now have both books two and four working. And we're gonna do book number two first. So the first part of this book for book two is to find the Dream Doctor and Papiani Village. But before we go hunting that Dream Doctor, you're actually gonna wanna go back and talk to Benis Moana. And for this next portion of the quest line, you need to know your character's zodiac sign. 
to find your character's zodiac sign, press the P key on the keyboard, and you will see your sign, your horoscope, right here. So mine is the key. On your screen right now is popping up the key to the different things that you need to purchase. So depending on your zodiac sign, you will need to buy a certain quantity of items from this person. Just go ahead and click on them, click on the shop, and in my case, I need to purchase cherries times three. So we scroll down their list, I will find the cherries, and I need to buy three of these. So one, two, a three. So after you've got the fruit from that, you actually need to turn back into a Papiani for the next portion of the quest line. So go ahead and click on that scroll from your inventory, the Papiani Villager scroll to spawn the Papiani Villager. Talk to the Papiani Villager to turn into a Papiani Villager. And after you're inside of the Villager, you need to make your way across the beach, up this staircase, over to the Witch Doctor. So the Witch Doctor is located like right here, but basically you can see the marker on my map. That's where we need to walk. This is slow, and I'm just going to fast forward. So when you arrive at the Dream Doctor, go ahead and talk to them, hit next, chat, give them whatever fruit they say to give. Also, if you're still confused, it's going to tell you literally what fruit you have to bring them right here. So pretty straightforward. Talk to them. Go to your Adventure Log bookshelf, book number two. We've now completed the very first portion of this. So when you talk to the Papu a second time after turning in the magical fruits here, it's going to give you an NPC's name throughout the little dialogue. So you need to pay attention to the NPC. So for mine, I got NPC Advisor Delnia. Advisor Delnia is up this staircase over here. And when you arrive at the NPC and hit the next button, you will see a chat option. Whichever NPC it sends you over to is going to give you a quest, so if you had accept that quest. So apparently there are a bunch of different quests you can get at this point, and depending on what quest you get, you're going to have to do a different thing. So there's fishing quests, gathering fruits, spending some energy, or a battle quest that I got right now. For the battle quest, I got a Papu Blader character, and to spawn into whatever character you need to be, you got to head back on down to the beach area where we accepted this quest initially, so down by the dock. And you got to pick your character and run all the way back to whatever you got to go do. So for mine, I need to fight these things to the death. So whenever you're done with that, return back to your NPC with whatever quest you got, complete the quest, and you will get the Floral Wreath. You then need to take the Floral Wreath back down to the Dream Doctor. So once again, the Dream Doctor is the person that we talked to down over this way, the initial NPC that sent us in this direction. Go ahead and talk to them, click on the chat option, and give them the Floral Wreath. If you go ahead and press the escape key, Adventure Log Bookshelf, book number two, it will have completed that quest. So after you complete that section of the Adventure Log by clicking on the button, go back and talk to the Dream Doctor person. Click on the chat option. You have something for me? And then minimize out of that. Head over these stairs to the right here. Up the stairs over here. And fun fact, if you jump, you go a little bit faster. And anything to make these slow things move faster is great. When you get up here, talk to the best flower. Click the interact button, and that will complete that bit of knowledge. From here, press Shift-R on the keyboard to exit the form of the Papu. Open up your Black Spirit by pressing the comma key. Click on the chat option. The spirit is giving you a displeased look. And that will complete this book. So if you press the Escape key, Adventure Log Book, book number two, you've completed the book. Black Spirit is going to pop up once again. And after that, a Fruit Soldier will have spawned in front of your face magically right there. And in order to talk to him, guess what? you got to run back to the dock, turn into a Papu again, and then run all the way back up, because you know what? Why make this fun, right? So run back down to the dock. In your inventory, click on the thing, and spawn back into a papu and run back up there. So when you get back up here, click on the fruit soldier, click chat, what's the matter, poo, blah, do, 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 ba, 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 do, ba, do, mash R. If you press the escape key after talking to them, adventure log is now opened up book number three. And book number three requires you to do a daily quest every single day for five consecutive days. The quest gets more difficult every single day, so you're going to need to bring some friends. So hopefully you have some friends. And if you don't have any friends, then you're going to have to make some friends in the faction chat, or server chat, whatever it's called. But anyway, from these two fruit soldiers to continue along with book number three, head up this staircase over here. Continue to follow the road until it diverges to the left. Follow the road over to the left and continue up the hill. And basically just follow the road on your mini-map all the way around and up. And when you get to the top, you're going to see the caretaker of the Garden of Birth and go ahead and talk to them. Click on the chat option. I'm the owner of the best flower. Pahoo-boo-boo-boo. Yeah, flowers. And if you press the escape key after talking to them, Adventure Log Bookshelf, book number three. Click on that and you've completed the first part of book number three. So after you complete this tab and move on to the next page, you're going to be able to talk to this NPC again. Click on the quest option, the calling of the Papoos. Mash R through this sucker. And it's going to give you this quest line right here. Just go ahead and follow the auto path over to it. When you arrive at the beach, you will see an NPC right here. Talk to that NPC. I've come, give him the magical flower. Talk to him, get the quest. You got a thousand years of killing stuff or something or other. I don't know. It's then going to direct you further down the beach over to this beacon over here. It's going to ask you to talk to Ben's Moana once again. Go ahead and talk to them. Grab the quest that they offer you. 
chat with them. Take the Brave Transformation Scroll. So the reason you would take that scroll is if you already didn't have the Brave Soldier Transformation Scroll. But from here, after you've talked to them, go ahead and click on the Stonebed Crab Training Ground Dummy. Click chat on that. That's going to spawn the crab. And now show off your dank combat skills. After that, after you've killed the crab, you need to return back to the original person on the beach to complete the quest. So once again, the NPC over here training with all of the people. Go ahead and talk to them. Complete the quest. And that's it for the daily quest for today. And that's all you can do on book three for your very first day. So to get further in book number three, you're going to need to do this quest series multiple times where you're going to need to talk to these different NPCs right here on the beach while being transformed as a magical sword fighting person. And after you've done this quest five days, you will go back and talk to this person right here, Garnia, while as a Papu, of course, you can't come up here as yourself. There's like a whole staircase that comes up here from the beach down below. So if you look at the little mini map as to where we are, this is where you got to go to complete book number three after five days. I'm not going to sit here and wait five days to finish this video. Sorry, I'm a bad person. On to book number four. So for book number four, we are back to the southern port of the island, and you're going to need a fishing rod for the next bit. So if you go to the wharf manager hanging out at the end of the dock, they have a fishing rod available to you to pick up for 500 silver if you need to do that. Otherwise, head on back over to this NPC that we came to get the transformation scroll, pull out the transformation scroll for the otter people this time, and turn into an otter. So once again, we already picked up the scroll earlier. If for some reason you don't have your scroll, you can buy another transformation scroll from this lady right here. So you can pick one up right there. Anyway, we're going to head on into this cave. And when you get to the first option where you can turn, bank a hard left over here. Head on out this door to the left. And when you get onto the beach, instead of like looking to the left, take a look to the right, and you will see a little like pirate ship mast out here. Make your way over towards this mast, and you will see a village that is guarded by some guards. Walk on into the village, and immediately walking into the village, you're going to get an invisible pop-up on your screen, the Squeakity Thumpity Moon Village. So go ahead and press R on that, and then we'll give you the knowledge of the Moon Village, which will complete the book. So Adventure Log, book number four, what we're currently on, Rainbow Fish Bone Coin. Next tab. We need to join the Abyssal Fishermen, so for that we're going to head on back into the cave from which we just came. So once you're inside the cave and have walked by the pond and continue heading towards the east, you will see a guy hiding up at the top named Barado. So head on up the stairs to this dude named Barado. Talk to them. Hit the chat option, and I wish to join your religion. So make sure to hit the chat option. So while you are chatting with him, he is going to give you a directive as far as what fish you need to catch. So in this case, I need to catch a green level fish from the waters surrounding the island. Go ahead and continue mashing through that, escape out of it, and it will place a waypoint marker on your map. The location you need to go to fish it is this top corner over here, so make your way over there. So when you get out here, you're going to need to catch the fish, and in order to catch the fish, you have to get out of otter form. So to do that, press Shift R, go to your inventory, throw on your fishing rod, and have some fun AFK fishing. All right, so we got that fish first try, lucky me, or is that just the power of editing? You'll never know. At any rate, to turn back in the fish, you need to hit the otter form again, and guess what? You can't use the otter thing right here, because why would we want you to have fun in the game? So you gotta head on back over to the port, which is located down here, turn back into an otter, and run back over to this dude that's sitting over by the beach. Remember when I said the guy at the beach? I meant the guy in the cave. I'm a bad person, so when you get to this pond, you hang a right, and you'll see the guy up in the rafters up above over here that we need to talk to. So pond, come over this way towards the east of the cave. And once you get back up there, you'll be able to hit chat and trade in the fish, which will complete the book. So Adventure Log Bookshelf, book number four, next section is complete. So after you've turned in this chapter of the book by clicking on this button, go ahead and talk to Barado once again, and you'll see flower raised by otter, question mark. Go ahead and click on it. And you now need to play through this quest line, Flower Raised by Otter. So just go ahead and follow the quest line. If anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to point you out. But I'm sure it's going to be a boring walk around quest. First step is to go click on these suspicious flowers over here. And just keep mashing R on it. Mash, 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 mash. Yay, done. And then after that, we got to run back to the Otter Captain of the Cave over here. So go ahead and talk to him. That will complete the quest. And after you're done talking to the next NPC you're going to have to go and see is located down by the pond. So follow this path that you see me running right now. It's that guy with the beacon above his head. So go around the corner until you get to him. Click on him. And under the quest, he will have the terrifying secret quest line. So go ahead and do this one just by mashing R through him. And that will complete that quest line. Click on the quest again, avoiding surveillance quick. This is gonna path you to an NPC on top of the mountain. So even though the indicator says that you just have to go to this bridge in the middle of nowhere, you actually have to head across the bridge and move your way up the mountain. 
And if at any point you get lost during these quests and you're confused as to where to go, if you press the O key on the keyboard, navigate to the suggested tab, you will see two quests with the Great Expedition. So the first one is for the Papoos, and the second one is for the Otters. So you can just tell it where you need to go by clicking the padding icon, and it will show you where you need to go. So if you ever get confused or don't want to listen to me talk anymore, feel free to do that. Anyway, when you get up to this SMPC, go ahead and click the R button, talk to him, pick up the Please Let Me Enlist Queek quest. So press Shift R on the keyboard to get out of this otter form. So after talking with him, you're going to get a new transformation scroll that'll let you turn it into the fighting version of the otters. You can actually summon it on top of the mountain further away inside of one of these icons. Or if you can't make it to that point and you're a little lost as to where you need to go, you can just go back to the wharf and make your way back up this hill. But anyway, once again, just like a few moments ago, you got to kill stupid rocks. So just beat the rocks up. And if you ever get too low to continue, you can just press Shift R to come out of it. Then come back over to this little one rock for some unknown reason, click on the conch one, and resummon back as a conch soldier. So after you finish that, just return back to the guy that initiated the quest line. So just follow the rocks over and around. So literally just follow the road back around to the NPC that gave this. That's all I did was to get to that spot, is just follow this road right over to the NPC. When you get to him, turn in the quest, escape out, and that will have completed the next section of the adventure log. So go ahead and book four, complete that one. And turn the page. This is actually going to complete the second page as well, so go ahead and click on that, and that will complete book four entirely, opening up book number five. Guess what? We're going to be doing the same thing we do for book number three. So this is another series of every single day quests, both books three and five, where you need to complete it five consecutive days. So that means you're going to need to leave a character on this island for at least five days. So continuing exactly where we are, continuing right along, if you talk to Piccio, the guy that we were just with right here on top of this mountain overlooking the bay, talk to him. Click on the quest tab, you're going to see the Otter Military Entrance Exam. So click on that. Follow the padding that it's taking us to, which is down here towards the base of the island. So we can actually just cheat and jump off the ledge right here. And when you get to this guy, go ahead and talk to him. Click on the chat option. So hand over the letter of recommendation. You can also get his knowledge from Kriok if you want. And you then need to answer the questions. So in order, it is Kraur Schraur. So C R A O R. S H U R. So that is the first one. Next question, the answer is Papu. Next question, it is the Thousand Year War. So, Thousand Year War. That will complete this quest successfully. Next, take the second quest, or the only quest that he has available to you. This is going to give you another quest location that you need to follow to. So, this map location is right here. You can also path to it by clicking on the most recent quest that's available to you, the Thousand Year War. Talk to our small friend over here. They're going to give you a little quest complete. Pick up the next portion of the quest. If you talk to them, they will give you another scroll for transformation. If you do not have the combat scroll for transformation on you anymore, or if you threw it away, if you're coming back to this a later day. But anyway, after you were done talking to them, you can go to the same training dummy, spawn another crab, and fight it just like we did a few moments ago for the Papu. And after you've killed the crab, run back to the same NPC that we started with. So turn in the quest, and that will be it for today. Once again, you'll need to do this five times in order to complete the adventure log. After day two, you'll be able to complete the first page, and then day five will allow you to complete the final page. But we've actually completed part one of book five, so you can go ahead and complete that if you want. Set your bookmark to page two, and you'll have to do this once again, two times and then five times for both of these. And that's it. This is probably one of the longest video guides I've ever had to make. But basically, you'll just keep coming back to this island and doing the combat quest for the Papu over on the other side of the island, and the otters on this side of the island of killing that stupid crab. If you get some friends, it'll make it go faster, and you can all log in at the same time and knock it out every single day. Anyway, guys, I do hope you found this video useful. If it is going to help you to complete this book, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have ideas for future videos, let me know, because this was a suggested video once again from the Twitch live stream. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.